And welcome to the 2021 Vocal Academy Spring Concert. We are so excited to be back on stage and performing for you all. So please, at this time, we ask for you to all turn off your cell phones and rise for our national anthem sung by our men's choir.
called Baba Yetu by Chris Yagiri and Christopher Tin. The name of the song means God's Prayer and the language is Wahili. Our soloist will be Ruben Blasquez. Enjoy. Baba Yetu Yetu the Epikuni Yetu Yetu Amina Baba Yetu Yetu the Epikuni Lako El Yetu Yetu Baba Yetu Yetu
Scottish American piece about a man talking to his friend about a journey that they are about to take. Please enjoy. By on bonny banks and by on bonny lands, where the sun shines bright on Loch Lomond, when real and be true love will never want again, and the bonny bonny banks of Loch Color of My True Love's Hair, arranged by Victor C. Johnson, sung by the Men's Ensemble. This piece is short and sweet, with the boys singing about who their true love really is. I hope you enjoy it.
sung by our women's choir, and it is called Morning Moon by Philip E. Serverly. The composer of the song wanted to lead the meaning up, up to interpretation. So audience members, like you, can investigate what your meaning of the moon is. Enjoy. I'm 
girl, I never see you. Come make me hold you hard. This long time, girl, I never see you. Come make me hold you hard. Feel that jump cross the young one tree top. We got the blossom. Make me hold you hard, girl. Make me hold you hard. Make me reel it up till we tumble down. Make me hold you hard, girl. Make me reel it up till we tumble down. Make me hold you hard, girl. Make me wheel it up till we tumble down. Make me hold you hard, girl. Make me wheel it up till we tumble down. Make me hold you hard, girl. Billie Eilish and Phineas O'Connell. 
He has promised me front row tickets to one of his shows when he becomes famous, but apparently I have to bring earplugs as well, so I want to hear afterwards. Um, so at which point I'd like to uh, be the loudest to scream from him, and I hope you enjoy it. Um, and I'd like to thank us for offering, oh, Mr. Cotter, sorry, 
Um, I want to thank you for always offering to do our sound whenever we do gigs and always being a great colleague to work with because we are the music department. So uh, it's really good that we love each other. Um, uh, finally, in music, you can always find family. Um, and to the families of the students on this stage, I thank you from the bottom of my heart for your support and for your talented children. Quiet. Please applaud your parents. Okay, um, and our final piece this evening is uh, called Na Na Na, that is performed by the Pentatonics. Um, I chose this as our closing, um, as the name of the program for tonight is the music that got us through. Uh, this piece in particular, the words address just being thankful for the small things and the little moments in life, which in my opinion is what got us all through this past year of craziness. And, uh, you know, praying that everybody's safe, healthy, well. Thank you all so much for coming. And uh, without further ado, I present the last piece. No, no, no. I saw band parents are selling things outside, but you have to eat them outside. So please go buy stuff. Thank you very, very much. Um, good evening, everybody. Thank you for your patience. We're so happy that you're here. Um, this is the band portion of the concert. Uh, you're going to hear a lot of stuff tonight. Um, we have some heavy artillery lined up for you right now. Um, so strap in. Um, I would like to introduce Mr. Bill Cole, who is our percussion specialist for our marching band. And up here are some very, very talented students that we'll tell you a lot about throughout the night. Thank you so much for being here. We'll see you soon. Good evening, everyone. Uh, we have a little special addition to the instrumental section of the concert tonight. Uh, this is featuring our drumline students from the marching band program. 
And for the last couple of years, uh, we've been discussing the notion of doing a piece where everybody gets to switch instruments. And uh, although we planned for it this past fall, with uh, all of the safety restrictions, that wasn't something we were uh, we were able to put together. So since uh, I made a promise to them, we're doing that tonight for you in a brief piece, uh, an original piece that we put together. And uh, I hope you enjoy it. So this is going to be the loudest part of the concert, in case you weren't aware of that yet. <laughs>
Texas. Uh, we are very happy to play. We're happy to play for anybody. We'll play anyway. Hey, I mean, at your event, this is the band. Okay? So, uh, the next tune, we want to bring somebody back who's had a big night already. Uh, where's Costa? Let's get him out here. Okay? <laughs> Okay, sophomores. All right, that's not bad. Freshmen. 
here. How did they let you in here? <laughs> okay, the last tune we're doing. Hold on. The last tune we're doing is called Birdland, um, and then we just have uh, a, um, a, just a really quick um, intermission where an, an important um, item is happening. Um, we're going to close the curtain so that we can set up for concert band. Um, but in the meantime, we're going to have um, all of the members of the uh, newly reconstituted chapter of uh, Triumph Music Honor Society um, uh, do their induction. Um, it's not going to be long. Uh, they're just going to raise their hand and say the oath and get their pen in. And then we're going to go on about the evening. Um, so this last tune is Birdland. And um, thank you very much. I hope you enjoy it. We'll be back with Concert Band after this.
there was a chapter of Triumph here um, a long time ago, um, and so we are um, revitalizing that right now um, with these uh, students that you see before you, um, and we couldn't be more proud of all the work that they've been doing. Um, so here it goes. Um, chapter number 147 of the Triumph Music Honor Society at Madelon Regional High School was reconvened this school year, and this evening we will induct each of its new members. Well, the members of, yeah, you come forward. Okay, great. <laughs> um, will all the candidates for student membership raise your right hand, this is the first test, and repeat the pledge to show your willingness to carry out the principles of the Triumph Music Honor Society? Uh, please repeat after me. We, the members of Madawan Regional High School Music Department. We, the members of Madawan Regional High School Music Department. In order to foster a greater continued interest. In order to foster a greater continued interest. You are all honor students, right? <laughs> and a desire for ex excellence in music performance. To encourage appreciation. To encourage appreciation. And awareness in listening to music. And awareness in listening to music. To promote wider opportunities. To promote wider opportunities. For sharing joy through music. I share joy through music. Both within our school. Both within our school. And within our community. And within our community. To advance the spirit of good music. To advance the spirit of good music. And musical knowledge. And to enhance the reputation of our school. And to enhance the reputation of our school. As a center for musical enrichment. As a center for musical enrichment. We accept the honor. We accept the honor. Now granted to us. We accept the honor. Now granted to us. Okay. Um, it is my pleasure to present each of you with your tri and pin uh, emblem and membership card, which you'll get later. Seniors, additionally, you will receive your graduation cord, which is colored pink for the academic color for music. Wear these pins wherever you perform as an outward sign that signifies the honor of your achievement and as a credit to the institution you so faithfully serve. Congratulations to all of you. Very, very much, we're very proud of you. Well done. We'll be out in just one moment.
everybody. Good evening. Thank you again for your patience. Um, it's a great pleasure to have you with us. Um, I would like to thank um, all of our friends that are joining us now. Um, you can see in the program um, from all kinds of places, uh, mostly from Rutgers University and Mason Grove School of the Arts. Um, so I'm very, very thankful they can be here to help support our students. Thank you, everybody who's a guest here tonight. We really appreciate you being here very, very, very much. Thank you. Um, so the first piece that you heard, Toccata for Band, uh, it's one of um, several very well-known written works for concert band by the composer. Um, it was written in 1951 and uh, demonstrates a variety of musical settings, lyrical and smooth, march-like and detached, broad and grand. Um, the next piece, we need to give the percussion a moment to bring out some furniture. <laughs> um, so I have to explain a little bit um, about our next piece. Um, so, Old Churches was written by a Pulitzer Prize winning composer, Michael Colgrass, um, and it's truly a unique piece of music uh, for concert band. He creates atmospheres of sound. Um, un using unusual combinations of instruments, you'll notice the aluminum kitchen bowls that are up here, um, and they're going to be played with yarn mallets by the percussion. Um, it invites tone colors um, indicative of ancient church bells, which would not have been made of um, terribly expensive brass uh, material or technology. Um, so you're going to get a sense of that. Um, additionally, the winds um, have directions to play sections of randomized sound or aleatoric music. All of this is juxtaposed with lyrical writing in the style of Gregorian chant. Uh, we hope you enjoy Michael Colgrass' Old Churches.
Uh, our next piece uh, is by Kate Nishimura, who's a Canadian composer, um, whose uh, work, Chasing Sunlight, won the 2017 Canadian Band Association Composition Competition. The composer says that Chasing Sunlight was inspired by the experience of driving west into the setting sun, as if trying to keep up with the Earth's rotation to catch the last few rays of light before dusk. Just as the sun will always set, humans must accept the impermanence of all things in life and make the most of every opportunity before it is past. Chasing sunlight also represents the ongoing pursuit of these opportunities. As we look optimistically towards the future, for our families and our friends, we present Chasing Sunlight.
Um, our next piece, The Lord of the Dance, is an expression of optimism, a sentiment too easily dismissed as naivety. This title of this evening's concert, the diligence of the students who prepared this music, our guest musicians who have traveled here to lift up our students, the sacrifices that you have all made to support music in your children's lives, all of these are examples of optimism and action, not just words. To choose to dance in the face of adversity and strife is all we can ever hope to accomplish, but we do have the opportunity on special nights like tonight to celebrate and dance together. As an example of this, one of our students auditioned and was not only accepted into the virtual uh, All Shore Band this school year, but placed second chair out of 15 trumpets who auditioned Miss Cassie Miano. Um, and we'd like to Thank you. 